Hamburg was the Roman goddess of flowers. And Floralia was the festival associated with her. And it was typically held around sort of May, June time. So it varied depending on when all you know, the flowers and everything else were about. So, um, and hence, you know, because obviously a lot of my work is around flowers and it's about that connection, you know, of people to wildlife and nature. So hence why I went for the name Floralia. Um, as soon as I saw the word and realised that's what it was, it was like, oh, no brainer, you know, here we go, this is what it's going to be called. So, um, yeah, and, but she was a very little well-known girl. She was much more known, actually, as we got into the 18th century. Um, she sort of seemed to come more to the fore then, you know, as they sort of researched back into Roman history. Um, but she, was, she wasn't a very big god in Roman times at all, because they were more like gods of war and all that sort of stuff. Really. It's, it's interesting being here doing this, because I actually was involved for about 10 years with the actual organisation that's being tested here, um, when I was a conservationist. So it's really interesting, you know, seeing everybody else going around with their clipboards and I'm here doing my own thing. So that's good. I like that. These, these represent all the dots and the sort of sparkly bits of my paintings, because this is actually translating a painting into real life, so into an installation. So all these sparkly bits represent all the sparkly bits of my paintings, because, you know, I like all the metallics and all my glitter and things like that. And of course, you know, you can't really throw glitter around outside. So this is representing all the glitter and my sparkly bits. No, I will work with what I've got. Yeah. Which is what I do, because I'm quite spontaneous. So, you know, I don't empty plan it. In fact, I got the boxes out late last night and went, I wonder if it's all in here. <laughs> Loved it. These, these individual flowers were made with volunteers. So they were made by sort of women who came to my studio and volunteered to make them and learn how to make felt, which is um, really lovely. And some of those volunteers are going on to uh, volunteer and help me with another project that I'm just doing. Um, as part of my World War One series at the moment, so that's really nice. They've really got into it, and they really want to come back and do some more. So that's really good. Painting images that matter to people, capturing moments of time with meaning and magic. experiences, giving a different sense of the world that makes you think. giving happiness and stirring emotion, energetic, and passionate thoughts and feelings collide, capturing the essence of place and character and laughter, tears, joy, extraordinary and everyday experiences. Will change soul and meaning, the future, not quantity. because it's time to look at things differently and to change how we do things in the future now and to connect the, the beauty of nature in our world through an experience of art to be an artist true to my heart and soul giving for you a different experience of art now and in the future this is a uh, nikki from the arts council <laughs> I only started painting about five years ago. I couldn't, I couldn't paint or anything. Found art when I sort of took redundancy. Um, I'm now a full-time professional artist. Um, so this is Floralia.